I'm with Nadir Saad from SIRA, the Swedish International Relief Association. And now we're here at the Special Education School in Bejala, Bethlehem. Uh, Nadira, when was the school started? The school started in 1992 as a special education school in the Bethlehem area. And at that time, until now, it is the only school serving students with learning disabilities. Do you have schools all over the Holy Land? Yes, we have this school here in Bejala and another branch for Sira in Jericho also. How many students do you have here in Bethlehem? In Bethlehem we have 80 students right at the moment, but we are expecting more next scholastic year. Is there a big need for a school like this with special needs? Yes, as I mentioned before, Sira was the only school who started this work with students with learning disabilities. Mm. And from the beginning until now, there is a big need for such a school like this, especially here in Palestine, because we always have uh, political problems that are affecting our children. And we have a lot of social problems, environmental problems, which leads them to have learning disabilities. And so from here we can say it's a big need to have such a school like Sira here in the Bethlehem area. Mm. And what sort of activities do the children get involved in? First of all, we are offering them academic activities, helping them to overcome their disabilities at the beginning. But before that, we work on their personalities. We give them more self-confidence in themselves because when you build that in them, you can let them succeed in their academic way. And in addition to that, we are offering them music. They are taking music here. We have a special teacher for music, gymnastic activities. We have also something very special here, which no other schools offer, which is the music therapy. We have a special class for this and a special teacher for music therapy also here. We have art lessons because we feel that it is something important for the students with learning disabilities to have such activities because they can compensate their uh, lack of uh, academic conflict in these things. They find themselves in music sometimes, in gymnastic, in art, which helps them a lot to get succeed in academic lessons. Do you see a lot of talent when they do the music and do the art? Yes, they like music very much. They like gymnastic. As I tell you, they feel that I can do something. You know, when first they come to our school, they feel they have low self-confidence in themselves. So uh, here we help them through music, music therapy, art, gymnastic, to compensate this lack of confidence in themselves. And you cannot imagine how much they are happy when they are doing music uh, activities or art activities or gymnastic, where they feel that, oh, we can do something. We are talented. What sort of disabilities do you have here? We have slow learners. Uh, I mean by slow learners, those students who cannot manage to be in a normal class in an ordinary school. They need special treatment with special teachers. They need more time in the class to get the message. Also, we deal with the short memory students. Dyslexia, dysgravia, they are very common at our school also. I mean by dyslexia, it's the difficult, difficulties in reading. Dysgravia is a difficulty in uh, the writing also. Disability, I can say. And also we deal with students with environmental problems. Uh, now on your website you have children performing the nativity play. Is that a special for them to do that? Christmas party is something very common here at Sira School where we celebrate Christmas in a special party here at our school where we get Papa Noel and they have Christmas gifts or presents. And we celebrate Christmas in our own way, where they offer a nice shows in front of their parents. We invite parents and some persons to attend this party. And we have a special chorale also with our students here, where they sing Christmas chorales or Christmas songs here. 
and usually we have a very, very nice and interesting Christmas party every year. And they are performing the Christmas play in Bethlehem. Yes. This is something very special also, and we do it every year, mm. because without this Christmas play, there is no Christmas party. Yeah. Uh, do you need special teachers to teach special education? Usually, uh, most of the staff here, or the teachers at Sira School, they studied in Bethlehem University education. They are graduated from the education department. But here at Sira, we offer them the right training uh, to be a special education teacher. Uh, before uh, some years, we have a doctor from Jerusalem who came here and she followed our teachers for three years, training them to be special education teachers. Mm. And now I can say that I have a special staff, which I am very proud of. I think they are now specialized and they can give our students the right need or the right service that they really need as uh, slow learners or as uh, students with learning disabilities. That must be constant training, is it? Yes, always we have constant training. Right now, one of our teachers, she is getting her master degree from Al-Quds University, where our school, Sira, or our Swedish board, they are financing this for her. And now she will start next August to her first workshop or training workshop for our teachers also. Wow. She will give them new ideas new from her studies at Al-Quds University. So now the teachers becoming the teacher. Yes, the teachers are becoming teachers. Wow. Wow. And also we will invite teachers from other ordinary schools to attend workshops here at Sira. We usually do this, but only during the corona time we stopped all these activities because of the corona, of course. But now I hope next scholastic year we will continue having training workshops for other teachers from the area to come to our school and get this kind of training. Because in every school, there are slow learners, not only at Sira. Mm. So everywhere they need teachers like the teachers of Sira. Yeah. Is dyslexia common here amongst Palestinian children? Yes, we have. I think we have a lot of students with the dyslexia. At least it's here at Sira School. Most of the students who are coming here, they have this kind of disability, which mm. is dyslexia. Mm. Are you one big family here with the children and the teachers? Yes, here mm. we have to be one big family mm. because we are the family of our students here at the school. And always the student has to feel that his teacher is his other mom here at the school. We always build a good relation and we try our best to have good relation between the teacher and her class, her group of students, because if she doesn't have this kind of relation, she will not succeed with the children. She has to give them love. She has to be their second mother here at the school, because this is something very, very important. Before serving them academically, you have to serve their feelings how they think about our school. For example, this year we ended by an open day. We made for them a kind of lunch here with their teachers inside the classes. They, they have a lot of games. We have a clown also. He came here to end this year with something nice so as to have this nice feeling before going home for the summer vacation. Do you have to work closer with the parents than a, than a regular school would? Of course, this is a must here at Sira. It's a must because the parents are half of the work. This is how we believe here at Sira. If the parents will not cooperate with the, with the teacher or with the school work, then their child will not develop. We always say this to the parents. When they first come here, they want to, to integrate their child here at Sira. We always tell them this. You are half of the work. You have to cooperate with the teacher. If you will not cooperate, we will not succeed with your child. Mm. So this is a must. Do you see big changes in the children's lives? Yes, yeah. because as I told you, when they come here, they always feel down. They have no self-confidence due to their bad experience in other schools. Mm. When they come here, they can find love, they can find good treatment from their teacher, from the social worker, from the administration here. 
So love is our logo here. Love. Love is something very important. And I always tell my teachers, if you don't give love, and if you will not accept the student with his difficulties or with his disabilities, you will not succeed with him. So love is our logo. And then from the beginning of the year, when the first the student come here till the end, the parents always find this different thing in their personalities. They always tell us, what are you doing with our students? They are different now. They like to come to school. They are changing at home. They are always astonished, the parents. They find something different in their child. Preparing them for the future, isn't it? Yes, of course. Yeah. Of course, we are preparing them for the future. We are preparing them to be integrated in other ordinary schools where there is a big difference between Sira and other ordinary school because there is a big gap between these two kinds of school. So here we are preparing them in a good way to be able to manage in other ordinary schools through their personalities, supporting them, encouraging them in many different ways. Must be difficult, but a joy at the same time. Yes, it's really a big joy. It's, of course, difficult to work with these kind of students. But as I told you, we love them. We feel that we are doing something for God. It is something for God. We are serving children who really need help. They need to be helped and they need to be supported, to support their personalities, because, you know, most of our students, without Sira, they will be in the streets. Yeah. Believe me, Sira is, is giving a very special service for these special needs students. How has Corona affected the school? Corona affected the school in many ways. And first of all, the online teaching, we faced a big problem or a, it's a challenge, I can say, for our teachers and for us as Sira. Because, you know, our students, they need face-to-face -face teaching, not like other schools or other students who can do it online. But uh, for our students, they need always face-to-face. -face. They need something in their hands to see, to touch, to feel, so as to get educated. But in spite of all of this, we managed to offer them uh, online teaching through our special ways. But our teachers, they really made a big deal in this kind of teaching. This is our first ch challenge. And I can say we succeeded in serving our students through when the schools were closed. Then the financial problem. Now the parents, they cannot pay. Most of them are without work and they are coming here to school asking us for help. We cannot pay all the amount of the money, and some of them they cannot pay at all. They are saying we are without work, work from where we can pay. So we are always going to organizations, foreign organizations, or people who are trying to bring money for the, these children who cannot pay their school fees. Mm. So I think that the corona affected us a lot. Mm. Why do you do what you do? We do what we do, as I mentioned before, it's something related to God. God likes children, loves children, and we are serving children with special needs. So this is something for God. We feel that it is a joy for us to serve these kinds of students who really need help because they have special needs and no one can serve them except Sira. And uh, what's your prayer for the children here? My prayer for the children is to get more and more help here at Sira, to give them all what we can give for their personalities, for their academic level, so as we can integrate them successfully later in their ordinary schools to continue their lives in a very nice and special and successful way. Uh, what's your website for people who'd like to know on your Facebook page? Sira School, holyland.com and our Facebook, Sira School, Sira Special Education School, Bethlehem. Okay, uh, Nadira, thank you much. You are welcome and I thank you for this interview because it really will show how our school, Sira in Bethlehem here in the Holy Land is serving students that who really needs help. And I hope a lot of people now will know about our school and I am really very grateful for you to make this interview with me about my school.